I do get asked a lot about foods that are either safe or unsafe for, for dogs or for animals in general. And I think it's because people are moving beyond maybe just trusting the commercial foods and maybe trying to prepare things on their own. So when it comes to foods, I think people are always surprised at the numbers of human foods, things that we eat on a daily basis that are actually harmful to dogs. And I like to use that as an opportunity to, to say that things that are toxic to one species aren't necessarily toxic at the same level or even to the same extent at all in another species. And that uh, I like to, I really enjoy trying to clear up some of the common myths or fallacies about food. Classic is chocolate. People ask all the time, well, why is toxic, chocolate toxic to dogs when we eat it all the time? And the reality is, is that if we ate enough of it as well, it would be toxic to humans as well. We tend to um, really limit the amount that we eat. I know a lot of people out there will say, well, I can eat chocolate 24 seven, and I don't think I would ever, yeah, I could probably get myself to that toxic level, but the reality is that chocolate has some, some nice little safeguards that when you start to get toxic, you start to vomit quite a bit as well. So you, you tend to decontaminate yourselves. But dogs, on the other hand, you know, when they find something in their environment, they will eat it until they really are at the point of that their stomach can't handle anymore. Um, especially if it's something that they know they shouldn't be eating that, uh, and that may, might taste good to them. So if it's loaded with sugars, loaded with fats, they're going to be really attracted to that.